Welcome to the Upper Room Cooking School. Today, we're going to look at stewing plums using the sous vide technique. The sous vide we have today is the Breville PolyScience Hydro Pro Plus sous vide. We're going to use the manual cooking method. We're going to set the sous vide at 85 degrees Celsius and preheat that. The plums, once they're prepared in the vacuum bag, will only require 15 minutes at 85 degrees and then straight to an ice bath. We'll set a timer in advance for 15 minutes and that's set waiting for us now to put the plums into the water bath once the bath has heated up. To prepare the plums, we've already washed and dried the plums. We'll circle around the centre of the plum and twist the first half off to give us a half there. And then using a canning tool, we'll remove the pit carefully from the plum. If you don't have a canning tool, you can use a small paring knife to remove the pit from the other half, but it is much easier if you have a canning tool. You need to make sure that your plums are right so that you are getting as clean as possible a separation from the pip. The preparation is very simple and we want firm ripe fruit for this. We don't want the fruit to be too soft or the end result will not be as pleasant. The canning tool has a sharp tip and a sharpened curved side that allows us to work gently around the stone and to remove that stone from the plum very accurately. So taking just the tip underneath the stone and working gently all the way around the stone, we're able to remove that cleanly. I've prepared 10 halves, but we'll only put nine per bag. To prepare the vacuum bag, we fold the top of the vacuum bag back to keep the top of the bag clean. We then sit our nine halves in to form a checkerboard pattern. And this gives us a nice serving of three pieces each for three people. It also fits very nicely into the vacuum bag there. We can at this stage sweeten the plums slightly by adding a little bit of sugar syrup or we can leave the plums just natural as they are without any flavourings in there. We could also take this opportunity to add any kinds of flavourings like vanilla, cinnamon, cardamom, um, star anise, but it's best to flavour the actual sugar syrup and add a small amount of sugar syrup to the plums at this point, just before vacuum packing. With these ones, we're going to do a natural plum and then we're going to puree them and pass them through a sieve then freeze it and we'll have blocks of frozen plum puree that we can use throughout the year. Once the plums are vacuum sealed, they're ready to be put into the water bath for 15 minutes. We'll allow the water bath to come up to temperature before we add them to the water bath and I'll prepare some more while we're waiting for that. Now that our time has gone off, we'll take the fruit and put it straight into an ice bath to cool rapidly. Once our fruit is completely cool, we'll lay it out in a tray to finish cooling through thoroughly in the refrigerator. That's stewed plums 
cooked sous vide. These plums can now be pureed up and passed through a fine jam sieve to make a beautiful plum puree that can be used to make jellies or fruit-based desserts. Thank you for joining us at the Sous Vide Australia Upper Room Cooking School for Poach Plums Sous Vide.